Hello friends, welcome to Software Testing Help and the tutorial series on Gatling. As part of this tutorial, we will walk through what are load profiles in Gatling and we'll also see some examples on assertions and checks in a Gatling simulation. So let's get started. So we'll use an example from the previous tutorial which is which was create user endpoint from request.in so it's nothing but a sam sample post endpoint which expects request payload as this JSON body and the API endpoint is API slash users you can see this request.in website on web and simply pick up whatever endpoint you want to use these are nothing but some fake data APIs that are hosted on the web so we'll use that endpoint and every Gatling simulation had four basic components. First is defining the protocol, which has details like common headers and what are the base URLs and other stuff. Second is you define the actual request, like what type of request it is post and what are the request body. Third is you actually define the scenario or set up the scenario, which says that for a particular scenario, what all requests will be executed. And finally, you set up the load profile or the concurrent or virtual user setup which you want your load test to run into. So we'll cover assertions and checks in this tutorial as well as different load profiles. I'll just create packages for them. So for assertions, assertion checks and load profiles i'll create three different packages and i'll simply copy over this request as we'll be using a similar request i'll name it as assertion simulation similarly for checks i'll name it as checks simulation and load profile i'll name it as load profile simulation so let's get started we'll first see assertions and checks and then we'll finally look at what load profile we can use and what are available as part of the Gatling provided library. So let's get started. So both assertions and checks are nothing but a way to validate something in the response. So assertion can be as simple as to find out how much time did the response take or like overall say suppose we had a simulation that was running 100 requests and as a general assertion we need to say or we are required to validate that there should be no more than 5% failed requests. So those are the things where we can use assertions and checks are basically used at a very specific request level. So suppose you have a post request which returns say HTTP 201 as the status code. So that can be defined as a check at request level wherein after every request you are asserting that you actually got a 201 status code. So both are way to validate the response that was returned but they are different in, in a certain way. So let's first get started with the assertions. We'll use the same request Bob and Painter is the payload and we are injecting five users. So there will be total of five requests and assertions will need or could be put up after the setup step. You can simply write assertions as now there are two flavors to assertions. One is global. Another is for all. Global means it applies to the simulation, entire simulation as whole. So suppose you want to check, say, the average response time is, say, less than 500 milliseconds. So that will be a global assertion which takes into account the actual or total requests that were sent during the simulation. So I can say global dot response time mean is so there are different parameters LT less than less than equal between greater than greater than equal these are standard 
so I'll say should be less than say 800 and this value is in millisecond yes so we can say that this assertion will check for all the requests combined the mean response time should be less than 800 millisecond similarly you can have assertions at each request level for that instead of global you need to use for all and say for all I can say response time dot max say suppose less than 1000 ms so now this will apply to a request level and this will apply to all the request level we could also add more assertions in the same block like if I want to add global dot failed requests I'll say percent should be less than say 10% so what this means is only 10% of requests maximum are allowed to fail so that's how we could write assertions let's try running this simulation and see where are the assertion reports getting generated and where you can look for them so I'll simply use the Gatling runner and the simulation we want to execute is assertion simulation so that is numbered as 0 I'll name it as test simulation so now once it has executed we could simply yeah so you can see that there were total of 5 requests and you can see assertion section here so global assertions are listed here and you can see that one is in red which says mean of response time should be less than 800 millisecond but it is saying no because if you see mean it was 847 and which is not less than 800 that's why it is showing as red so these assertions are directly shown in the report and that's how you could validate this assertion and finally the third assertion or it's basically per request level assertion which we use with for all and this says that max of response time is less than thousand and this is green or okay but yeah this is how you can see the reports on assertions let's now see what is a check so check as we said that it applies to request level example whether there is status scape code was like http201 whether there was a header in the response a particular header and response and things like that so it applies to per request level actually and the most apt place to put a check is where you define the request so here i can write checks I can simply use status is 201 suppose suppose I want to add more and more check I can say header I can simply say header with name content type exists and things like that so you can see that these are very particular to the request that we are trying to execute so suppose our scenario had multiple requests we could have applied different checks to that request and again uh, so if if any of this check fails for any of the request the 
request will at will fail and it will show as failed response in the actual report so suppose if i let's first run it with 201 and then we'll try to fail it so let's try running it here the simulation i want to run is check simulation so let's try looking at report here So again, they, these are the global assertions, but there are no checks that failed, but these are the statistics. Now let's try, I'll say 200 instead of 201. And let's try hitting it again. Now we should see all the requests failing because 200 is not something that we are expecting. let's copy this location and go to the report you can see that all of them are failing here and what are the errors that were encountered it says it's 200 but it's actually 201 so all the checks failed and 100 percentage of our requests failed so these are the kind of uh, validations assertions at the request level whereas the actual assertions that we added at the scenario level were like global and they were more related to a particular metric like response time or fail requests and things like that. So these were the examples on assertions and simulations. Now let's see an example on load profile. Now as we know that load profile is actually something that we define at the, as the last step of the simulation where we are saying as injecting users now this at once users here is nothing but the load profile so we can and gatling provides a lot of uh, different functions here to see that basically you can go to this website called gatling cheat sheet and it provides lots of uh, different uh, variables in injection profile you can see at once users ramp and again it has descriptions and syntaxes for all of these you could use any of these or combination of any of these injection profile in order to achieve a load that you want to do but let's see how you can use a couple of them and combine them so suppose we can say i need to or i want to use at once users of five and after that I want to say do nothing for two seconds and this seconds you will need to add a new import Scala concurrent duration. So now first I'll have five users then I'll do nothing for two seconds I'll say constant users per second for say five during five seconds so for next five seconds i'll have five users per second and i can again say and notice that it should be comma separated i'll again say nothing for two seconds then i can say probably ramp users three during so three seconds and things like that so as you can see that you can combine these different methods of functions available for injection profile and essentially achieve the kind of load profile that you are trying to build because when you actually write per for load test for any endpoint it's not that you will bombard it at the starting point you could build the load slowly and gradually say five requests per second then 10 then 15 in steps and then probably you would want to cool down the system for say 10 seconds so again it will depend on the kind of use case that you are trying to solve but you could combine these different methods available here and 
simply use them now let's probably let's try running this again load profile simulation is the one that we want to run so this is the fifth one if you can see here so So again these logs are very detailed but in terms of time and in terms of response graphs you will be able to actually see in the report we'll do a detailed tutorial on how to interpret this reports but for now you can see that what happened or what were the total you can see this this is the active users along the profile initially we had five then nothing for two seconds then constant for an next five seconds and things like that but yeah i mean you could achieve the kind of load profile that you want depending on the scenario that you are trying to solve so that's about the different load profiles and as we said that uh, there are a lot of different options available as well you could go to this gatling documentation cheat sheet and see what suits you for the requirements and use that in the simulation script so that's it for this tutorial thank you